The next problem for uh, conversion of CFL to PDA is uh, WWR. So the previous problem we are having C as an intermediate symbol. So in this uh, uh, question, there is no intermediate value, only W after that the immediate WR is there. So I am taking an example of W as 0, 1, 1. So if it is WR, the answer is 1, 1, 0. So what are the possible uh, notations of a string for this uh, value is W means 0, 1, 1. W are immediate, 1, 1, 0. So we can't able to identify whether uh, at what uh, situation we should use uh, push operation after that uh, pop operation is uh, done or not we can able to uh, we cannot able to solve it so there may be the confusion for taking this so uh, how to solve this problem so this will be considered as uh, generalized form so i try to draw the transition diagram for this one so if uh, in this example i am taking zero as the first symbol instead of that if you take uh, 110, the WR is 011. So if you combine those two values, W followed by WR. So this is the string. So there may be the possibility of 110, 011. That is also possible. The first symbol may be 0 or 1. So I write both here, Q2 state. After that, if 0 or 1 is read, stay in the same state. So we cannot able to identify uh, what is the next step. So here we assume that after that, that is 0, 1, 1, if I am taking it is a W, then next immediate WR is there, that is also contains 0, R1. So like this only, the diagram is there. So uh, you just to check it, for the same input more than one output state is there. So this type of PDA is called as NPDA. This diagram is an NFA diagram and we will try to uh, construct NPDA here. So what is an NPDA means? If there is a possibility of more than one transition function, then NPDA will occur. So if any DFA diagram is drawn, then we can able to write DPDA. If an NFA is formed, we can only able to write NPDA from it. Okay, then you go to the procedure. So procedure means uh, if it is a 0 or 1, you should use push operation with the Q0 state. Then uh, after that Q1, this is Q1, Q2. So Q0, Q1, Q2. So this is the generalized notation. For Q1, if you are using 0 or 1, either push operation is done. Otherwise, if it is W or up to this, it is W. Then from this onwards, it is W or. W or means you should pop that value from the stack. For example, if I am taking uh, this notation. So this is W, this is W or. So Z, after that 110 is pushed. Then if you read 0, 0 is occurred, pop. Then if you read 1, 1 is occurred on top, pop. If it is 1, 1 is also available, pop. Then epsilon, is it is there, so the string is correct. In this way only we can able to predict it. So this is the generalized notation. So how to write a transition function for this one? So q0 can able to read 0 or 1. The initial uh, stack symbol is Z. For these two notations, it will go to Q1 state and you are doing push operation. So this is clear. So this is 0 Z and 1 Z. The problem is when Q1 is available and input is 0 or 1, we don't know the stack topmost value it may be either 0 or 1 so it will be written as either 0 or 1 1 0 1 1 with the q1 state okay so 
if it is different symbol you we can directly push that value for example 0 1 1 0 will be pushed on stack so z then 0 this is q1 q1 read uh, 1 but the topmost value is 0 so q1 1 0 means you can stay in the same state with push operation so there is no problem in it but for this one if, if you go to q2 state then this one is pushed on stack if it is q2 1 and the topmost value is 1 either you should pop that value or push it value so if the numbers are equal at second and third parameter either push operation will be used or pop operation will be done but if the second and third parameter values are different you can freely use push operation so this is the logic behind it so we should write both push and pop operation here if it is push you stay in the same state if you want to implement pop operation you should go to q2 state from q1 so i am writing two different output states here one is push operation another one is pop operation push means stay in same state pop means go to q2 state push means that value will be pushed pop means epsilon so here also the same thing so q1 uh, 1 means you should go to uh, you either you stay in q1 state or go to q2 state q2 means pop q1 means push so if you write more than one output state you write it in a set so if more than one answer is available this is the npda transition function okay then for uh, for the string w with 0 1 1 so z 0 is pushed 1 is pushed another 1 is pushed followed by wr which is contain 1 1 0 so now you are in q2 state q2 with 1 means topmost value should also 1 so q2 1 means topmost value 1 otherwise q2 read 0 means topmost value should also contain 0 in it then it will uh, stay in the same state with the pop operation that's all then if q2 read epsilon stack should contain only z so it will automatically go to accept state so this is the way we can able to perform npda notations okay thank you